self-service portal, SSP, of Zimbabwe Revenue Authority, Zimra. User Tutorial. Taxpayer Registration. This video is the second of a series of walkthrough tutorials for taxpayers of Zimbabwe to guide them how to register themselves and sign into the self-service portal, fill in and submit taxpayer registration forms, and then, once their registrations are approved, manage all their taxpayer documentation exchange with Tax and Revenue Management System of Zimra, Zimbabwe Revenue Authority. In our first tutorial we showed how to create an SSP user account and log into the portal. Now we go further and proceed with completing an application form and applying for taxpayer registration. So, let's walk through taxpayer registration procedures. Launch your internet browser, preferably, Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, and navigate to the login page of the self-service portal. When login page opens, enter your username and password. Click login. The welcome page of the self-service portal opens. Here you have time-saving shortcuts links to various types of taxpayer registration forms. Some forms appear immediately. As in case of individual registration. While clicking on organization registration shortcut. Opens a pop-up window. To specify the type of organization. And then say, yes, or, no, to a number of questions. Meanwhile, all these shortcuts direct you to the taxpayer registration module present in the navigation menu unless you haven't shifted to a taxpayer account. Taxpayer registration module has two menu links, applications and drafts. Click applications. The applications web page lists all taxpayer registration forms you have personally completed and sent for official approval. Some of them are merely submitted, others are rejected or returned, and there may also be applications that are eventually approved. There are a number of parameters you may set or specify to search for a submitted application. Obviously, if it is your first login to the self-service portal, or you haven't yet submitted any taxpayer registration form, the search will return no results. To start completing a taxpayer registration form, Click on the new application button. The new application window pops up. Click upon the expand arrow. Then select the taxpayer registration form from the drop down menu. In most cases of taxpayer registration forms, you may need to say yes or no to a number of questions. When all done, click open. The required form of taxpayer registration opens. Taxpayer registration forms, applications, consist of a number of expandable sections, such as general details, or personal details, address details, contact details, public officer details, etc. Depending on a taxpayer type, these expandable sections, as well as their contents, vary. To expand or collapse these sections, click the up or down arrows. In most cases, the last section of the form requests you to select the subtype of a taxpayer, for example, private limited company. And then provide more specific information, such as branches, foreign head office, etc. If you feel necessary, you may attach an electronic document to your application. To do this, click the attach file button and then select the file in your computer, or in your local area network, to upload. Fill out the application form carefully. Note, that text fields in the form marked with red asterisk, are mandatory. To finish your current work, you can click upon the save draft button, if the document is still incomplete, or it needs further reviewing. Later on, you can open this document for editing, by visiting the drafts web page of the taxpayer registration module. As long as the application is complete, and it needs no more reviewing, click upon the submit button, submitted applications, are to be examined and approved by the officials of Zimra, 
and you can trace their approval processing by visiting the application's web page of the taxpayer registration module. To stop working on an application form and return to the application's web page of the taxpayer registration module, click cancel. Your work will not be saved. That's it. We have demonstrated the steps of the immediate first task. You will definitively proceed after creating an SSP user account, that is completing the correct application form on your own behalf, and then applying for taxpayer registration. Thanks for watching.